we'll keep this kind of brief. So, um, go ahead just so you can film this later. Um, go ahead and take your setup and face the camera. Okay. So just so you understand, um, your pelvis on your backswing went to the right and it stayed to the right. And then it never really went back to the left. So it kind of would sway and it would stay there. And that kind of complemented um, a steeper disposition coming down. So what's going to end up happening, and, and I'll, I'll do this here. Um, I'm going to use my hand for this. So what you're actually feeling, so go and take your setup. I'm going to put my finger on your hip here. Okay, this is what should happen in a, in a normal golf swing. So you're going to have a nice little bump. So you kind of trigger, boom. And then from there, your hip, do yes, exactly. Now, stay there. Okay, so whenever you look at yourself here at the top, this is somewhere around almost P4, your, your center of your pelvis actually moved forward on the backswing, so a little bit. And what that does is that's going to take your pressure and move it from the right and move it back left and recenter. Okay, so that does not mean, so Randy, you're good now, I don't want you to stretch out there. Um, but what you're going to look for is you're going to be able to see your right scapula a little bit because you didn't have that. You're kind of under rotated and your arms would go up on your backswing. So this is going to help you to get this movement to move this way and recenter the pelvis. Now that does not mean that you go to the top and you jump your weight forward. We're not saying that. It's gradual. It's kind of moving back to recentering. That's going to help you push off the left foot later. Okay. We're not going to even get into that. All right. Now move the other way. So we'll go down the line. Hey guys. Okay. So let's do that again. Same backswing. Good. Excellent. So that's way better. Now, one of the weird things in your swing, and I'm saying weird because it is a little strange what you do there. We tend to like to rotate the so, so what you did is because your hand path was too much in a straight line going back, kind of going this way because of, because of your pelvis. Yeah. So most efficiency is happening from here. Your arms would lift and you kind of lay it off, right? Yeah. And then your hands would drop straight down. So let's set up again. So now your hand pass is gonna go more in because you're turning better. Awesome, good. Now hold that. Yep, yeah, but you gotta be turning and opening it going forward. There you go. There you go. Awesome. Make sense? Yeah. That's your pattern. So let's look at before and after. Okay, so come on over here. We're gonna pull up your first swing and then just one of your drills because we did this like in 15 minutes. So this is your first. And this is your drill. So stand on my right side real quick. Okay, so let's just go to P4. Okay, so we'll, we'll have a nice conversation while we're doing this. So go to P4, and right up here you can see, actually let's go to P3, because that was the first thing we talked about. It's right here. So P3, somewhere in there. Now you can see, give or take, this is your old, can you see that okay? Yep. So it's your old P3, your hands are a little bit more straight going back, and the, um, the, the shaft pitch is going through above your shoulder. Okay, see how it's like coming yeah. right through the shoulder? Yeah. So the hands don't have enough depth because of what your pelvis was doing, right? So it wasn't turning properly, so your arms would go up. And then from here, you see on this picture, your hands are more in and the shaft's more mid-humor, somewhere in there, and your, and your pelvis is turned a little bit more. Right? So you can see the difference yeah. there. Okay, so then we're gonna go to the top and you can see this is your, your old P5, which is lead arm parallel to the ground. And this is your new P5. Look at the difference in a few scenarios. So the first one you can see that the shaft's still above the shoulder, right? And the hands are more out. 
The left wrist is more cupped. Agreed? Yeah. This one? Yeah. This one, this is your new downswing. Lead arm is more in. Shaft's pointing outside the ball. Left wrist is more in flexion. Okay, now this is this is the big difference. So now you get the P6. Clubs outside. If you can see that, okay. See that? Yeah. And you can see this side. Clubs from the inside. Okay, so that's getting your swing direction more to the right. Okay, so let's go back out there again. But you see how all the downswing stuff is kind of a reaction to the backswing? So just as long as we understand that. Otherwise, we're just trying to do a bunch of uh, weird movements to create the downswing. So that's better. Then what's the feel going to be? Correct. There you go. And then what th through? There you go. Perfect. That's how that's going to work. All right. All right. Thumbs up.